It is being reported that Prince Harry is now on his way to the UK following the cancer diagnosis of his father, King Charles III. Ooh, what's going to happen next? up everyone it's me steph the alternate your nerdy alternative filling in for andy whilst he's on a break at the moment and yes it has been widely reported right now that prince harry is on his way to the uk he will be arriving today after rushing to lax following the cancer diagnosis of his father king charles this is everything that we know so far in terms of this developing story uh, he is believed as of recording this video right now uh, that he's already en route to to London after rushing to the airport to catch an urgent flight following the news of King Charles's cancer diagnosis. Uh, he's reportedly already taken off from the airport in LA uh, as he heads to London to be by his father's side, uh, according to The Sun. Uh, meanwhile, Megzi and the children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, they're staying in Montecito, California. They are not going with Prince Harry. Now, that can mean one or two things. Either A, the diagnosis for King Charles isn't as grim as maybe some people may think, so that's that. Or B, Megzi's just being an absolute cowbag uh, and is not willing to support Prince Harry, essentially in his time of need, whilst his father's going through an absolutely epic health battle and challenge at the moment with cancer. What do you think, guys? Because uh, judging on her past with her own father, Thomas Markle Sr., she doesn't really have a great track record in terms of treating fathers really well when they're suffering from health crisis. What do you think? Anywho, moving on, um, a luxury Range Rover believed to belong to Hazard's entourage was seen arriving at LA's airport uh, VIP terminal uh, Monday night. So that was yesterday. Uh, it's reported that he will touch down in London around about midday. So any time now, as of the report, as of the recording of this video, really at this point. Now, the source is saying uh, Harry will be worried about Charles, uh, which is why I think he's coming back to the UK to show support. I think it's a really good thing that he's coming back. It's good that he's showing support for his father. And who knows, this might make amends, possibly. I don't think it will, but it's a good first step. I mean, yeah, okay. He and Megzi have done so much <laughs> over the years against the royal family and the British public. I don't need to list them. You guys watching will know by now. However, putting that aside, his father's got cancer. What do you expect him to do? Stay in California and stay away? No, I do truly believe in Prince Hazard's defense, he is doing the right thing and he is going to see King Charles, his father, and stay at his side whilst he's going through this health battle at the moment. Who's not doing the right thing? Megzi. She's staying in freaking California. Why? She should be coming over with him, with the children. King Charles needs all the support that he can get right now from family. And she's staying over in California with kids. No, that to me is evil. Um, now, he Charles is believed to be resting at Clarence House today uh, with Princess Beatrice and her husband, Edward Mapelli Mozzi, uh, who were seen leaving this morning, according to another UK outlet, Daily Mail. Um, it's not known, though, where Harry will be staying as soon as he lands in the UK because he doesn't actually have an official royal residence anymore uh, in this country, seeing as, you know, they got evicted from Frogmore last year. But we are King Charles laying down the law. I absolutely love it. Um, but apparently, um, the flood warnings in California previously delayed Hazard's travel plans. So apparently, if it wasn't for the flood warnings, Hazard would have gone on the next private jet as soon as possible, uh, sooner than he has done at this moment. Now, he is traveling with his own security team um, after, you know, King Charles not only kicked him out of Frogmore, but stripped them of their right to tax-funded police protection after they quit back in 2020. Now, at the moment, Prince Hazard is still going through this fight with the UK government to try and 
claw back this UK police protection. However, just as a little side note, with Hazel coming back to the UK, I wonder how he's feeling about the UK protection at the moment because technically he has to give the government 28 days in advance warning for him to come to the UK for them to consider giving him security for any visit that he makes in this country. Now, this is last minute, so he obviously hasn't given the UK government 28 days warning for them to consider giving him <laughs> royal protection. So, um, hmm, I wonder how Hazza is arranging his protection at the moment as soon as he lands in the UK. Just, just as a little question and a side note, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think to that uh, little side bit there. Um, but the their plans are all up in the air at the moment. Uh, it was reported that Haza and Megzi were going to go to Canada next week ahead of the Invictus tr Games training camp uh, to mark the one-year countdown until the Whistler Vancouver 2025 Winter Invictus Games. Now, it's not known now at this point whether Haza and Megzi will pull the plug on the trip or still go ahead. I wouldn't be surprised if they do pull the plug. I actually think that's probably the better move as it stands at the moment. I do have a sneaky suspicion, though, that with Megzi staying in the US, she might go on her own mm, and try and hog the limelight. What do you guys think to that one there? Um, but yeah, it was also reported that King Charles had personally delivered the news, uh, not only to Prince William, but to Prince Harry as well. Um, now, in terms of what we know at the moment with King Charles's cancer diagnosis, uh, he's been diagnosed with cancer less than 15 months after ascending to the throne. Um, this came just after a week following the treatment for an enlarged prostate. The cancer was found during just you know, routine checkup, whatever it was, any scans that he was having during this treatment of the enlarged prostate, but they are very specific to state. It is not prostate cancer. Um, now, Hazza still hasn't spoken reportedly to Prince William on the heels of uh, King Charles's cancer diagnosis, um, but sources say that, you know, given the circumstances there might be a little bit of an uneasy truce just to make life a little bit easier for King Charles at the moment. Um, and yeah, Kensington Palace has not specified when the king will return to full active royal duties. But, you know, at the moment, reportedly, he is still doing behind the work, uh, paperwork and things like that, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, and more of an update in terms of King Charles's condition, apparently the prognosis is good uh, because the cancer was actually caught very, very early. So, you know, fingers crossed, long live the king. I wish King Charles a speedy and successful recovery uh, so he can go back to what he does best, which is serving the country, serving the people, serving the Commonwealth, because he's been absolutely amazing uh, the past year and a bit um, since he ascended to the throne. He's been an absolute credit to the monarchy, to the country. He's been absolutely amazing. So, yeah, speedy, speedy and successful recovery wishes to the king. With that being said, though, yeah, it's official. Hazard is on his way to the UK but without Megzi and the children. What do you guys think to all of that? Comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to Popcorn Palace. Like, share, all that good stuff. And if you appreciated what came out of my gob, and you probably did, to be fair, because my logic is undeniable, then I do have a channel myself. It is Steph the Alter Nerd. I'm your nerdy alternative to roll news and gossip on the daily. Uh, so, yeah, I would be absolutely honoured and grateful if you also head on over to my channel, give it a friendly subscribe, and, uh, yeah, check out my videos. The last one was last night. Uh, Taylor Swift shading Meghan Markle again at the Grammys. Oh, yeah. And I have the receipts. So check that fun video out. With that being said, thank you so much for tuning into this particular video. Appreciate your face. And uh, yeah, until the next time, you guys. Laters.